Sacred Insights 101, ready to do your reading for August. The energy is intense this month and I've been working on projects for all of you guys and Aquarius, you were just like emphatic to go first. <laughs> So you're going to go first this month. We're going to honor that. And the very first card that wants to go for you is actually the last card that came out and just resonated really strongly. And that is the dog spirit. Does anybody out there have a dog? <laughs> so then you know the loyalty that a dog has for you. The love and loyalty that a dog has for you as its sort of owner and their spirit is inviting you to have that same level of loyalty towards everything you love whatever it is that you love and it's it's a very general reading for you guys this time it's not so much relationships it's not so much work it's it's more like life kind of stuff and so this dog wants to go first to say you know what just be loyal to what you love is the most important thing for you guys for August so he wanted to go first he or she <laughs> is going first and last you know he came out last so it's it's very fundamental to your reading is that loyalty to what you love the first card that came out is love and acceptance from hope hope wants to come in to say love is yours recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts um, towards yourself. This is really, it feels very much about you, the meaning of life. Maybe some of you are questioning things, uh, questioning life, and hope, love, acceptance of self is what she's saying. Love is yours to give to yourself. <laughs> and the very next card is love. This is coming from the unicorn deck amazing picture on here right this image is just beautiful and this is the answer you're seeking is love so as far as looking for the the meanings in life maybe where you fit in uh, maybe um, um, figuring out what you love for some of you maybe uh, just really putting yourself first accepting that it's okay you have permission accepting that it's okay to put yourself first it's not selfish it's self mm, care <laughs> it's really important and so the answer you're seeking is love so we just got love 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 right three cards going first for you guys about that and very much about loving of yourself Isis wants to come in to say that magic is manifesting for you guys. The things that you focus on are happening, right? The energy is strong. It's palpable for August. Uh, your dreams, visions, goals, whatever it is that you focus on, whatever it is that you think about, is becoming reality. Now she's saying to stay focused. But what's important is to stay focused on what you love so that that's the thing that manifests for you, okay? Ganesh comes in <laughs> top and center with a big yes. Yes for everything in the reading and yes to some of you. This might resonate if you're having, if you're having sort of this ongoing question of, um, um, you know, sort of what should I do? Should I do this thing? Uh, he's saying yes. Some of you will resonate with this. If you've been looking for sort of a yes or no kind of answer, uh, he's coming in to say yes. As far as what you're wanting to do, um, whatever it might be, wh whatever you love, maybe towards work, towards relationships, towards whatever it is, this going back and forth is coming up again with the two of Michael and the two horses. Um, sort of facing off with each other this this which one should I do <laughs> for some of you it's a yes or no kind of question for others of you it's 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 just really you know should I sort of do this or should I do 
that where a yes answer uh, isn't really helpful. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who have a this or that situation, then, and this looks like some of you might, they're inviting you to um, a divine guidance, but it also feels like, oh, what they're saying is friendships. What I'm hearing is friendships. People who you trust. Um, consider uh, surrounding yourself with wise teachers and friends, and so, um, and communicating what it is that you're, you know, questioning to have a conversation with somebody that you trust to help you decide about this thing. Sorry about the airplane. It's very loud. To help you decide about this, they're saying to get together with a really good friend and speak from the heart. Just speak from the heart. Um, uh, one thing that I've done that might that might help some of you is when you get together with this friend, let them know that you're just gonna you're just gonna talk. And understanding and and this is divine guidance, so they're 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 asking me to share this uh, divine guidance. And the answer is in you. Is what he's saying. The answer is you know what to do. Um, you're going to be loving what you know, honoring and being loyal to what you love. And so helping to figure out what that is, that answer is in you because it's what you love. So get together with a friend and let them know and ask them if they'll work with you to just let you talk. You just talk. You don't filter it. You just start letting words just come out of your mouth. Just talk. And at first, you might not make any sense. or <laughs> Things might just seem random. Um, it's okay. <laughs> just keep talking. Like, you know, remember to breathe, of course. Breathe in between. But just keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. Keep going. And invite your friend to not say anything and just let you sort of spew. It's a, a little bit like they... Um, sort of that spiritual writing, that spiritual writing, uh, but he's, he's saying, he's saying to do it with your voice. Just, just talk. And what will happen eventually is you will know. The answer will come out from within you and you will get to hear it uh, yourself. By your friend not saying anything and just letting you go with that, the answer will come out for you. <laughs> So they're inviting you to do that little process. It's, it's, it, it's really kind of cool <laughs> to do that. The very next card that jumped out is to say to let go of the past. So for some of you, that might be what comes out. What comes out of you might be some blocks around um, forgiveness, around letting go of some things that may have happened in the past. That might be what's just sort of causing a... Mm, uh, um, to challenge in deciding what you want to do. It could be some things from the past are just sort of holding you back from having clarity on that. It looks like the thing you're wanting to go towards it will be a positive change. Whichever one you choose uh, feels like it'll be positive. It's really about what you love. So it, they're saying that you, it, you know, you, there's no sort of mistakes. Um, it's like you can't get it wrong. You know, it's not going to be wrong, is what they're saying. Whatever, whichever you choose, it's not going to be wrong. Uh, so just be mindful that it's really what you're wanting to do. Uh, it, it will bring positive changes for you. The next card that jumped out, and they asked me to just do this in order, so that's what I'm doing with the, the with this guy. <laughs> But otherwise, as the cards came out, the next card that came out is to clear your space, is to clear out some clutter. This might also help with this kind of thing, letting go of the past. There might be some sort of objects in your home that are were gathered at times in your life from the past that maybe um, weren't very positive. And so, you know, clearing out items, everything is energy, right? So there's energy in those items. And to clear those out, just clear your space, can also clear your sort of inner space as well. 
you know what to do. It's the very next card that came out. It's like, you know what to do. This coming back with sort of this, where the answer is in you. This kind of thing where you're trying to make a decision. You know what to do. The answer is inside of you. And the other meaning that's coming up with this is he's wanting to say, this is um, Uriel, he, she, Uriel is wanting to say that when you do this sort of, when you do this conversation with a good friend and, and just let yourself talk, just communicate to help you decide, it, what he's saying is that by doing that, you will, can get clarity on what you want to do, that you love, that would just light you up to do. Uh, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it. So he's saying, you know, once you're clear, it's going to be actually hard not to act on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, the confidence. Confidence came out next. Uh, this is Archangel Michael saying that he's protecting the confidence that you have already as this one wants to come back. As you let go of the past, um, that where maybe you didn't feel so confident right? Remember the past in terms of where, where you did feel confident. And so Archangel Michael is inviting you to go back and remember those times. He's uh, the sort of in, in reading about this card, it said a while ago, it says that Archangel Michael is protecting your confidence. Um, but he's also coming to remind you that there have been times in your life where you felt very confident. So he's inviting you to go back and remember uh, remember those times when you did feel confident. When you remember that in your memory, um, it will um, trigger <laughs> all kinds of things in your body that will enable you to sort of land into the, that powerful feeling of confidence as well. And triumphant is what came out next. Uh, triumphant and he's wanting to come back so take action take action on what it is that you decide you want to do um, the answer within you that you find uh, take action on it and there's triumph there waiting for you positive changes and triumph in following what you love magic is manifesting so finding what you love so that it can um, the thing you love can be what manifests. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> In the beginning, remember, they were talking about self-love, right? This is to be loyal to yourself, be loyal and loving to yourself, loving and accepting and appreciating yourself. Love, love, love. Being loyal to what you love. And Mother Mary comes in, and also St. Christopher. Both are coming in, inviting you to love yourself this way. Uh, the way that she's holding that baby, mostly the way she's holding this baby. And this card is, is what this card is saying for you guys in this context, this month, <laughs> is that they're inviting you to hold yourself the way Mother Mary is holding this baby and they want you to know that there are angels all around you. The love and innocence, love and innocence is, is all around you. As you love and honor yourself, you're supported in loving and honoring yourself. And St. Christopher comes in uh, again um, similar to the image on this card where she's holding the baby he's holding the baby as well again emphasizing that you hold yourself in this way like you're gonna carry yourself through through the sort of decision-making sometimes this means that there's a really hard you know sometimes this means and it it might resonate with some of you if you're going through a really hard time saint christopher wants you to know that you're being carried and when you get carried like this when, on a soul level when you get carried like this to know that allows you to have this higher perspective of this baby isn't this child is not having to sort of sludge through the muck of this water over here this child is up on um, on St. Christopher's shoulders, able to see all around. 
right? And he wants to come back, this meaning of life that you're looking for. Imagine that you're being carried like this so that you can have the perspective of just kind of have, a, you know, being on a ride and being able to just look all around and sort of take everything in from a different angle kind of thing. So in, in your search, <laughs> and your search for the meaning of life and what should I do and how do I fit in whatever your questions are around that know that you're being held this way so there's there's two meanings a bit with this where you're holding yourself like this but for those going through a hard time you're also being held and she's also kind of smiling you know if you're going through a hard time she also is more than happy to hold you <laughs> and being surrounded by angels. So that's your reading for August, you guys. It feels really positive. It, it feels really, really positive. And positive change is coming. And even this one, you know, forgiveness can be um, tricky, but the, the real focus of this card is about letting go of the past. Just letting it go for yourself and being loyal to what you love. He wants to end your reading. <laughs> He wants to be the end, the beginning and the end of your reading, he, she, right? Uh, to, to have that loyalty towards what you love for yourself in August. I hope you guys have an amazing month. I love you. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves, and we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.